Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I saw this picture on Pinterest of somebody that did like a watermelon inspired look and I wanted to try and put my own spin on that. I already swatched some eyeshadows. I'm gonna be using this uh, I Love Sarah High or I Love Sarah Eye Times Colourpop palette. This guy. The colors are so beautiful. I'll show you. Isn't that everything you want in a palette? It's so good. I got it thinking that maybe it would help me branch out from my typical pinks, even though it has like a hot pink in it. I'm gonna start by doing my base. Let me know if you liked how I skipped doing my base in the last video. Hopefully that comes out before this, but... It gets to be kind of repetitive, I know. So I don't know if you guys want to, like, watch this over and over again. Same goes for my eyebrows. I put on my super glow screen, as always. Even though I'm not going outside. And I'm gonna take my ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Do you guys do your base before or after your eyes. I go through phases of both, but I don't know. I feel like I prefer doing my skin first for no reason, really. Just then it feels right. I'm gonna take some of the Pretty Fresh Concealer too. I scratched my face so it's pretty red down there. I'm just gonna use my finger for that. Oh. Also, I impulse bought a bunch of bleach for my hair, even though we're moving the other day. Because I saw this girl on TikTok that, um, first of all, she cut her bangs using um, Brad Mondo's tutorial. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that. Do you guys think I could pull off bangs? I do them like every couple months, I feel like, and then I hate them, and then I grow them out. But then when I look back at pictures, they're so cute. Anyways, but she did like a split dye. You probably saw it. She did like a split dye. So she like parted it in the middle. She dyed this side blonde, like the whole right side of her bangs blonde and left the other, she dyed it like a ginger color. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna leave it my natural. But yeah, she did like this blonde and then like the little dangly pieces blonde. And then she went under and like dyed this piece blonde too. So I wanted to do that, but with pink. Okay, now I'm gonna take this uh, Becca under eye corrector It's not looking great. I shaved my face last night, so it's kind of irritated a little. I'm gonna take this Fuller Coverage Born This Way concealer. I need a little more heavy duty today, I think. How do you guys feel about the new intro outro I think it turned out pretty cute okay I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury contour wand sorry if I sound weird too because I just woke up and I just have a weird voice sorry I can't do anything about that as I was saying I went on sort of a rampage not rampage but Let's say I went down a rabbit hole of vintage nightwear. If you've ever looked at like vintage nightgowns, why don't we have those anymore? Because 
I want to look like a fairy goddess when I'm going to sleep. Actually, all the time, but a lot of them are made out of this really beautiful uh, chiffon material, so it's all see-through, even the nightgown, which is a little risque, but who cares? I'm not showing you. Actually, I probably will, but I'll just wear like a bra underneath. They're just so feminine. They have puff sleeves and ribbons and collars. But anyways, I bought one from Italy. It was actually pretty affordable on Etsy. I'll have to link the shops in the description of that video so you guys can go look. I'm going in with this Fenty cream blush called Petal Poppin'. I'm just gonna pat that on. Can you guys comment some YouTube channels you're really enjoying? Other than me, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I watch a lot of, like, beauty, lifestyle. I watch a lot of Sarah, Sarah Kathleen because her channel's perfect. I actually wanted to start um, doing some uh, stitch, stitch Fix unboxings and Trunk Club. I signed up for that because of you, Sarah. It better be good. I haven't... See, the first Stitch Fix box I got was really good. I think I've mentioned this. It was so good. It was like all beautiful Madewell stuff. I got this awesome a cropped wrap floral top and I put this yellow skirt in there that I didn't keep but I, I wish every day that I did it was so pretty it was like a midi yellow just perfect summer skirt it was so comfortable it had pockets <laughs> but it was like a hundred something dollars but I wish I would have just done it. I wish I would have just done it. Anyways, if you guys want to try Stitch Fix, I signed up for the first time using um, Sarah Kathleen's link. I'll link her channel below because I'm talking about her a lot. Um, but if you want to use mine, it's in the description of every video you get. Uh, $25 off your first order, so you have to pay like a styling fee, which is $20 um, Because you get a stylist that picks out all the clothes for you and then You get an extra $5 to put towards anything you keep and then Hopefully you find something you like so the $5 can go towards that so you fill out like a style profile and basically you teach them what you like and what you don't like. And every day they have this tab, I think it's shop for you, something like that. But they put together outfits specifically for you. I've gotten suckered into buying a couple things off of that. Also, for anything you keep, um, they make like another tab that, uh, it's like finish your look or something like that. Shop your style. I can't remember. If you go on the website, you'll see what I'm talking about. Girl, I'm not even talking about the makeup. Okay, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil and I'm just drawing hair-like strokes. That's it. I want a unibrow so bad. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter. ColourPop is killing it. I mean, they always have been. But I kind of fell off bandwagon because I was sick of makeup for like a year after makeup school. Okay, I'm going to take my trusty freckle pen.
from Lime Crime. I'm just gonna dot that everywhere. I don't really pay that much attention to where it's going. I just try to focus it. Like I lot, I like a lot on my nose. And like right under my eye. Okay, we're done with the base and that took forever. I'm gonna take Lomo. Lomo. I don't know what that means, but Lomo. I'm gonna take just a fluffy brush. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap a little off. We are going to take it in the crease. Fluff that out. You don't want to go back in and deposit too much after you do the concealer because it can mess up that crisp line. And we're going to take the <clears throat> any full co co any full coverage concealer and just put it on the back of your hand. I'm using just a little lip brush and we're going to cut that crease. Okay, that had me sweating. And now I'm gonna take Emerald Dream. And I'm gonna take that along the bottom lash line. And I'm just gonna draw it in kind of along the same shape as the cut crease. I think I'm gonna do a like a, I'm gonna try to do a skinny winged liner. I'm gonna use this Mellow Precision Pen Eyeliner helps to hold it kind of weird and the way I do it is just kind of stamping it on so I can stick nice and close to my lash line okay now I hold it so I'm going to take Divina, 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 this one, it's kind of like a plummy cranberry brown, I'm just going to tap that over the liner we just did, we're just going to draw little watermelon seeds. I did it. I really like how this is turning out actually. This eye turned out better than this one, I think. Actually, I don't know. These ones are chubbier, but I don't care. Now we're gonna do mascara. Not on this side. It's creasing a little bit. any like cream colored shadow and clean that bitch up. So hungry. I think this is making me hungry. I'm gonna take this Lime Crime Lip Pop Satin Lipstick. I think it'll look cute. It's called Sangria, I think. I got two, and they both came like busted on the top. 
because it's like a push-up kind of contraption. finished look with lashes. I really like how it turned out. I think it's cute. Summery. I think lashes was a good choice. Um, let me know what you guys think. I think I could do the seeds a little bit better, but it's cute. Isn't this palette amazing? Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please consider subscribing if you want to stick around and see um, all the content I'm coming out with. Or just stick around, hang out, be my friend, be my buddy, talk about makeup with me. Okay, bye!